Well, yeah. That's probably not a good sign. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yeah, that's not a good sign either, is it? Mm, that was shameful. I should have gone to sleep the moment I saw a red dot. Oh, well. So, we don't really have much time for faffing around in this episode. We want to get going as soon as we can to get ourselves the means of getting some more lives. So, let's work on advancing the plot. So, to make our next workshop, the Tanner's Workshop, we just need a ton of wood. That's easy now. We need a bit more glue. That's easy-ish now. Another basic workshop. That's the hardest part. So, do I have any more crafting tables? Well, the crafting tables are easy anyway. The only one that's really difficult is going to be... Yes, I remember I was working on that at one point. And that, I believe, is going to require... Yes. We are just going to need to soup this thing up into its full and final form as part of the upgrade chain to turn it into a proper furnace in order to get ourselves another workshop. Because, uh, yeah, I'm comfy with all my workshops with individual... Oh, that's... that's not good. That's definitely not good. We have a displaced NPC in our house, too. Yep, that is right over our head, isn't it? Oh, isn't this wonderful? I think this downward mist we're seeing is an indication that things are super cold right now, too. But it seems to be passing us over. I think we're still within range of... Um, I think somewhere in the Millionaire Village there is a weather thinger that pushes storms away. In any case... Yes, and then we're just going to need four iron. And that should get us through. And then the next upgrade for that is super easy. That's just three more iron and a little bit of cobblestone. Yep. So it's not super tough to make furnaces, at least not now that refractory clay is significantly easier. And thanks to that, building more workshops is not a huge barrier to us. I should put these torches away somewhere. And it's just a reminder of our shame, I suppose. I apologize for that last episode. I'm actually recording this right immediately. Well, not immediately. I uploaded it and realized that, yeah, I didn't want that to be my night, you know? <coughs> So this is likely to be a short episode just because my voice is already worn out and I need to refill those too. I cannot wait to have an iron bucket. It certainly beats doing it all by hand at least. It feels so luxurious having a crafting table still. I don't know how long it'll be until the afterglow of that one wears off. But we just did without it for long enough that... to suddenly... Actually, let's do a full four just so that we retain even levels across. Oh. I already have some slime. Well, let's just not make our... Oh. Yeah, that wouldn't... Eh, screw it. Let's do the full 16. There, decision made. And in the meantime, let's make some more glue. Let's see, that's in the workshop. 
I think that should require, yeah, refractory lumps and pulp. Glue. I'm probably going to have to keep that on my crafting shortcuts, aren't I? Because that's a really frequent one. In any case, since we have a little bit of glue to use, now we just need how many? I should have had this on. Yeah, that's our. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, ten, thirteen. Oh, well. That's easy. And four clay balls, two tier two sticks. Those are the tier twos, right? And I think all of our, uh, no, these are the clay balls. Okay. And that just leaves three leather, of which I don't think I have any stock. So we're going shopping. Yep, easiest way to achieve leather is not to kill cows because this pack has a mod that will cause passive NPCs to become aggressive if attacked. And it's like Pigmen where they will remember it and it's just a miserable state of affairs. So yes, don't attack the cows. Let the cows be your friend until you have machines to attack them for you. Now instead, we will just be... Is there a gate anywhere on here so I can drink that water? Guess not. It ain't letting me reach down. Oh well. I feel kind of bad about that, but oh well. Yep, yeah, let's just... Eh, let's not buy a stack. Let's buy, like, 16. There we go. That leaves us... Yes, I don't think we even broke one of our gold. Just spent a couple silver, really. And that should be enough leather to last us for a good little while. Hmm. Maybe I should make a hoe and finish, like, laying out the last quarter of that farmland with garlic. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice collection of slime. And with our leather, we can build ourselves the Tanner's Workshop. Ah, we need the basic workshop, of course. I think that all that's going to require now is a tank. And it's going to require a crafting table, which isn't the hardest thing in the world. That's just this, this, this. Work. Tier one. Next up, it's going to need this, five of these. For these, and six more of these. Tier two, and I'm going to need more logs because some of those are reserved. Thankfully, log. Oh, I have more logs. Derp. And I think all that else it required was a piece of iron. We're running a bit low on iron. There we go. Crafting table. Workshop. Bingo, bango, bongo. And just like that. Easy as you pleasey. 
Now the leather, the tanner's workshop, forgive me, this makes use, yeah, pretty much the only use of it is getting these Tinker's Construct blank patterns. But it makes use of coal tar. So we're going to be putting it over Nya. And we'll get ourselves another drain. Just a gray one, I think. I need to cook up some more refractory bricks. Another drain and another... Is it... I always forget what the... Faucet. Yes, so another three, two balls, and four. Okay. Da, da, da. And da 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 da. Faucet. There we go. But yes, before we can use this, we're going to need to find us some coal to burn. Because unfortunately, the way we get coal tar is by burning entire blocks of coal. Yeah. And these can technically be crafted by soaking block of charcoal in more coal tar, but uh, you notice that costs a thousand and out of a pit burn we're going to get like And out of a pit burn, we're going to get like 500. Yeah. With a 15% failure rate. Yeah. So, we, we can't infinitely recycle coal tar, unfortunately. We are going to need to go digging for coal. And digging underground is quite a task. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to swim north to our little... Um, I, I could go for the little coal um, indicator things. Uh, I'll show them next time I pass one by. But no, I think you can find coal off of some ore veins, and I'll just look around the shelf for it, since we have a much easier time of that now. Yes, I think these little white deposits, maybe. Hmm, diamonds. What do you know? This pack really likes to keep you flush with diamonds. Now, note that we have an air pocket here, but we don't necessarily want to go just straight in. We want to put the light source down first because the Gru really likes these dark areas. And the game really likes to lag. Yes, these white agglomeration deposits, I have no idea what they are properly called. They are your friends for finding lots and lots of coal. along with a few other miscellaneous things, tin and other such sundries. I think this is just a tin vein, not a white thing vein. I think there are a few other veins where where uh, coal can appear as well. But yeah, this is this is the good stuff that you want to be going for. And unfortunately, that looks like the extent of what I'm going to be mining for now, because I am getting cold. Well, I'm, I'm heating up again, so I'm, I'm right on the borderline of hypothermia. We just don't want to risk it. 
if we start taking cold damage, it's going to be hellacious to get back fighting our health each way. And we want to be really cautious right now with just two lives left. So, yes, I am playing it really cautious. Now, let's see what we got in total. 16, just the 9. Well, just the one block I think would be enough because I think... Yeah, it only needs 10 coal tar per. We should be earning... We should be earning, like... Wait. I should be able to craft these into a block. Oh, it's just straight up crafted. Neat. Got so used to it being weird. But yes, if you don't have... If you have a really small burn to do and you have a really big refractory, just plug it up with some blocks. It's fine. Just like that. Simple as you please. And that'll just take a moment. And let's look at what else we're going to... Well, let, let's look at what's next in the quest book. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wow, snow blocks and fiber torches. You are just giving me some good gifts today, aren't you, game? can really feel the appreciation. Let's just toss that out. Is that unknown? Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, next up, we have to make a string bowstring. Bow. Which, um, yeah, we can do that. Just needs a bunch of regular old string. Can we make string out of any particular product that we know of? Yeah, we can make it out of more twine. So let's just go harvest our, our hemp for the first time in a little. I wanted to make a hoe. Yeah. I wanted to finish off the field and start filling out the rest of the garlic. Where are... Let's let's bring in a couple of stacks of sticks that we made just to have them available. And I guess just the one is fine. There. Yes. Definitely feels luxurious being able to create the Minecraft tools so damn easy after the runaround of all the last ages. Yes. In fact, let's make this entire quarter dedicated to garlic. That'll fill out very slowly. Garlic is a slow, slow process. Unfortunate with our torches in the way. Yes, that Great Enlightenment project, that was... That was just awful. Awful, awful. But I had to try, you know? I, I just had to reach for the sun. Semi-literally in this case, I suppose. fill out so wonderfully quickly once you've got them up to that half growth stage. Now, one thing you might have noticed when I was scrolling through NEI crazily is we can just take a tier 2 tool stick and that'll turn it straight into two twine. And, um, yeah, 
just processing it by hand, we'd only get one's worth of, and that does not use up the tool stick. It's just essentially being used as a tool. So we've essentially doubled our, our twine efficiency simply by having some of these tool rods sitting around. It's a minor thing, but it can help. In any case, ah uh, yes, it was primitive crafting, wasn't it? Is there no other way? Well, we're back to ungaing our bungas, I guess. And how many of those did I need? Four, seven, nine, ten, twenty. Excellent. And then three durable twine and two of the tool sticks. And two of those. And I do believe that this will get easier to make once we have... And what was it made on? It was made on the basic workshop any liquid. Excellent. Bowstring git. Next we just need to make us a needle. We obviously want to make a diamond one. And uh, yeah, this is a little bit buggy. I don't think I can auto-complete this recipe because this bowstring is... Yeah, it don't like that. It don't like that at all. But in any case, it ain't no big thing. We just need to fill it out. So I believe it was one, two, three, four, five, like that. Yep, and all the rest is just the twine. Like a so. And the bowstring in the corner. Needle and thread. Well, just needle, I suppose, is the name. The next one should be a bit easier. Punch, which is a crap ton of durable twine, two diamonds, a stick, and three boards. And it's probably time to make more durable twine. Yep, we have reached the point where, uh, we're finally going to start using up our twine supply. If only we'd been farming it this whole time, we'd be flush. But uh, no, I, I guess we're just going to have to rely on the fact that we have a field that can grow it very quickly and uh, the fact that we can process it relatively quickly f with our uh, newly enhanced ore doubling, kind of. And the fact that we can make it very efficiently out of our wonderful supply of wood tar. There's our punch. Next is our Judy. That's a bunch of boards. Two, four, six, eight, nine, eleven. Oof, I need to figure out a heating solution for this base or I need to build a damn roof. And three sticks. Lovely jovely. Yep. <clears throat> build another damn campfire, I suppose. Wait, if I just put this down, isn't... Yeah, I remember there's an interesting feature of Pyrotech where just having a piece of tinder on the ground alone generates a little bit of heat. Even if it's not burning. Maybe I could use that as my underfloor heating. It's kind of a bug. 
I mean, it doesn't heat you up very much. It definitely heats up less than a full fireplace. Or at least, I think it do. Hmm. In any case, these shears, yes, literally their only use is in this table. Which, as you see, uses a butt-ton of Tier 2 tool sticks. So you want to use these patterns very, very wisely. And unfortunately, you're going to need tons of them. So yes, that is the big sink for the Tier 2 tool sticks. And that is why we want to work our way up to a smeltery as soon as possible to make that significantly easier. Huh, a flint sword. Interesting. I suppose I could hold on to it just to fill out my wa my melee weapons. Eh, it's lame. It's lame. These Byzantine frescoes. Can these be produced in any given way? No, they're just loot. So I don't have enough of them to make decent decoration. Those are useless. That's a no. Nope. We accidentally pinned a thing. Yeah, this is acting like a campfire, even if it's not burning, it looks like. Neat. It's certainly cheap enough. Is it tolerant to water? If I just, like, put this down, like, right here, and I have some water flow into it, it do. But it does need dry land for me to put it down. Which, practically speaking, isn't much tougher than... Like, just... But still, just, just the fact that it's water resistant. Yeah. I think... I think I've found my ultimate heating solution is... I guess under these pumpkins I'll dig out a dry space and I'll put a tinder under each of them. And then I'll have heated floors... Because that's about their range, too. Like, if I put this on a pumpkin... And then I walk to the next pumpkin... I should start cooling down. Yeah. But even just halfway there... I should start heating up again. Slowly. Yes? No? No. It's iffy. It's real iffy. What is the range on these things? Is it just two blocks? It's two blocks. Okay. So if I place these on my pumpkin lights, I would have occasional cold spots in my floor. But not very many. Honestly, it would probably be enough to keep me warm most of the time anyway, just from randomly wandering around like I tend to do. Anyway, I shouldn't be pondering luxuries when I have... when I have, um... tasks ahead of me, yes. So, has our coal happened yet? What? Why... Oh! Derp! Coal needs to be refractory burned. I am an idiot. So yes, in order to be refractory burned, the block must be surrounded on all sides by refractory bricks or refractory collectors. So, we need to... Well, I, yeah, I think I'm just going to shut up and make the whole damn thing out of refractory bricks, but let's make ourselves a small one first, just to complete... Yeah, just to advance the plot. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Little 
tinder piles on each of the pumpkins. That should do the trick. Honestly, I don't need to do it under the floor either. If I don't mind it being a little messy looking, I could just go ahead and uh, start laying that out right now. Just kind of get the central area of our base where we're doing most of our wandering roughly heated. It's a little bit awkward. It looks terrible. I want this under the floor, not above it, if it's in range, but it works for now. It works for now. In any case, yes, I need to start replacing the side walls of my pit burner with refractory bricks. Uh, I really wish I had the quadrum thing where you can place on the underside of blocks more easily. Yes, and that with one more would be enough that I could just do a single block refractory burn. Which is just what we need right now. We don't need a whole lot to get started. We just need a little something for, for the tinker materials. There, a single more. And let us go and achieve another coal block. It's probably a little bit warmer underwater right now. In any case. Hmm. And I could be going underground and start digging out a proper mining shaft, but uh, yeah, that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work in this pack that uh, we don't need to invest in quite yet, especially not just off the uh, off the tail end of last episode. I am so sorry about that. No, I don't think that's an that's a coal bearing ore need these little white veins, which are kind of hard to distinguish from... I should buy another flashlight. I should, at one point, buy another dang flashlight. Maybe I should do that now while it's fresh in my mind. No, that's just tin bearing. Hello, what are you? Copper! Where are the lovely... Oh, it's cold. And it's dark. And it's miserable. Thankfully, I think that We've lit up enough space that we should be able to just go home and we'll be safe for long enough in order to get our sleep on. you're talking about it's going to rain I can feel it he probably said that while it was raining because it's been raining for ages aluminum you say interesting interesting 
Yes. Let's, uh, while we're heating up again, well, I'm, I'm going to start cooling down as soon as I'm away from our cheaty little tinder piles. But while we're, while we're on the surface, let's see if I can remember who sells flashlights. I should also buy a Geiger counter at one point, just to have it on the on the old infotainment center. Yeah, the Geiger counter. So long as you have it in your inventory, you get this little neat radiation bar in the corner. I've never seen it tick up far, but I'm paranoid about it one day doing so. I guess if I start carrying around a lot of uranium ore, it might become a problem. So it's it's neat to have it as a reminder, and it only takes up a single slot of our inventory. Yeah. We don't have any more inventory from her that we can deal with. I guess it must be either Austin Supercar or Glacier Forest or someone who sells. We have monsters. We are running. We are going to, like, swim out to the Alchemist Island just to make double extra sure that everything is dead. Yeah. I think I looked it up at one point between episodes, and I saw the spawn range was something like 128, not the 80-odd that Journey Map was pointing us towards. So that was embarrassing, but can you imagine if I was building it towards 128 from the beginning, how long that would have taken? I mean, even if the project, even if I had no blind spots on it and I succeeded first try, that would be horrific to do in a single sitting, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's definitely a mega project that's better spread over, like, when I have a long, big smelt up and going, I'll put more torches down and stuff like that. Yes. Base heating system showing promise. Yes, yes, yes. Now, is it two blocks square in every direction or is it circular? If it's circular, then putting it under the floor might not be cogent. But yes, now we have a lovely little radiation bar to obsess over. Hmm. Echoing Mist is slightly more radioactive than everywhere else along the island. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, yes, and uh, he can sell us some uh, very fancy tools if we don't mind paying out the nose for it. And yes, I believe that... Oh, boy. Okay, let's just um, put down a torch and despawn him, because we all know that the Endermen are, um, they don't behave quite like we expect, and they are deadly. They seem to have a grace period, but after a while they just randomly aggro. How far away is that forest? It's 181, so it should be beyond spawn range. Which is good. If I had to light up the whole damn island, I wasn't looking forward to lighting up the forest because of its natural mob spawns. I would probably have to hire on guards, and even then, a single tap from an Enderman. I don't know if being fully armored up would even help. So it would definitely have to wait until I have some lives to burn. Ah, lovely. Single denier Argent gets us a new flashlight. And let's book it.
and let's put our uh, yes if you if you need deniers for something like buying from one of those custom NPCs you just take your deniers pouch and right click it and it'll empty it out into your hand well into your pocket all right Now, how are we doing for coal? We still have only seven pieces of it. And we have a bit of lag. Always lovely. Thank you, game. Let us keep searching. It seems like the shelf is farther away in the eastward direction. promising, but it isn't. Right. Aha! Yes, bones. If you see it dropping bones, that's a good sign that you've found a decent source. Always get that torch down as soon as you can. And we are probably to the point of taking damage again. God damn, it's cold out. Is this the winter? Has has winter come? Is that the problem? I suppose it must have. I wish there was something that could tell you what the toughest nail season was. Yeah. Then again, it could also just be the rain. That the rain is a cold and miserable rain. I suppose this is a good test to see if we'll be overheated by our um, air conditioning. Okay, and that should be enough coal. Yep. Okay, with less stupidity this time. Yep. Collectors are nice and empty. You want empty collectors before you do this. Give it a boop. Give it a sloop. And give it a whoop. Because we will soon have coal tar. Ah, glowstone. I guess we'll treat that like metal. Toss. We haven't fully heated up yet. Okay, so what else do we need for blank patterns? We need tons of wood, a little bit of leather, and tons of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tool sticks. Well, we can swing that. And pattern. Two, six, twelve planks. And I believe it was just the four leather. Very neat, very lovely. Let's get that laid out. Ready and awaiting. Okay, we're getting nice and toasty. Let's 
keep it daytime just for maximum roastiness. Now, remind me, can I start working on the smeltery stuff yet? Let's see, to do that I'm going to need seared bricks. To make seared bricks, I'm going to need the mason's workshop. And to make the mason's workshop, I'm going to need patterns. Okay. But we can start working on the next basic workshop, at least. And for that, I think I'm going to go and buy some more stone. Oof. We're getting close to being overheated now. Yeah. We really can't win on the air conditioning front, can we? Anyway, let's just buy a couple stacks of cobblestone because we can very quickly turn that around into bricks now with our lovely refractory ovens. I should have checked in on what they're building while I was there. Ah well, let's just slowly crawl home. It's fine. forward but to just slog. I don't think even jumping would help with this. Really the only thing that would help would be carting one stack at one stack less or having the means of bypassing the weight restrictions. Which we won't for a little while yet, but we're getting there. Oops. And it was all for naught. I think I might have actually just run out the clock, though, instead of uh, being me mistaken. In any case, we now have our uh, bricks resupplied for a goodly while. Uh, let's start working on that next workshop. I need more paste, to no one's surprise ever. Brick. Stone. Mason. Brick. Yes. Thank you. Let's get some more paste to go in. Lovely. Yes, it's always good when you've collected enough resources that you're essentially stuck in your base processing it all for a little while. Being past the acquisition stage is always a good feeling. At least until you inevitably fall back into it and you then realize you've fallen from grace. Actually, wait, can I make more pulp in any more efficient way? Yes, I can, out of piles of wood chips. Interesting. Very interesting. So that's another way of disposing of wood chips. Essentially. Instead of burning them, if we're flush on charcoal, flush-ish, we can uh, we can do this and very quickly create a nice excess of pulp, which, with our semi-automatic uh, wood system over there, we can then quickly create more wood chips. Now, if only I could figure out a way to automate this step of it. 
Yes, that is all. Interesting. We have grown so much more capable now. In any case, I believe that our coal... Yes. Behold, we have coal tar. Only 300 of it. Interesting. But with that... Oh. It's because it hasn't finished burning yet. Why is this masonry bricks now? What happened? What, where did refractory brick... Did I accidentally burn the refractory brick into the fire? That's unfortunate. And I probably lost that coal tar. Yep, yeah, that shows me. I should have checked to make sure that the uh, particles were done. Yep, we lost out on some coal coke. Oh well. Yes. So, uh, this proves that refractory burning, well, pit burning in general, the coal tar generation is a gradual thing, I believe I've just learned. I actually didn't know that. So don't assume just because you can draw out your taps that your burn is done. Check for the particles, always, always. And yes, this will just be a hideous half-breed until we have enough bricks to fill it in. In any case, these blank patterns can be used to make the materials and U books in a scribe's workstation, if we went for that. But um, the big use for them is we're going to need more than what we've got. But we can make A, the mason's workshop to get started on tinkers, uh, the potter's workshop for a couple of other things, the tailor's workshop for a couple more things, and most importantly of all, it'll allow us to create the tinkers tables. Yep. We can finally get started on Tinker's Construct. We can finally make us some proper damn tools that ain't gonna just immediately abandon us as soon as they're expunged once. They are tools that we can repair, reuse, recycle. It's beautiful. I need more logs. Did I? Yeah, I put some logs on the fire. It just ran out of fuel. Piece of ash. I think I'm just gonna throw this hoe away. It's so easy to craft and we use it so rarely. Okay, so... Step one. Step two. Step three. And that's one third of the problem. Am I out of wood chip? Because I just spent them all. Except I do have some spares over here. Yes. Must remember that we do in fact use wood chips very occasionally for other things. Have some in stock. Then yes, there's that. Now, for the oven, we need a tinder and 36 bricks. and 28 paste. And this tinder is probably going to be the one covering us the least. Just as easy as that. Now we're going to need 20 refractory bricks. We are going to need more refractory bricks. And it should be easy to do that now. I'm gonna go and need to pick up like a fire drill or build another fire starter or something pretty soon here.
easy as you pleasey. Yeah, I'm not going to slake it in the soaking pots, even though it's more efficient. We're just going to be a little bit wasteful. It'll eventually work out in the change anyway. Just because this is so much easier, so much faster. Oops. There we go. Definitely wish I could... Th that the great enlightenment worked and I could just stay up all night, never mind the sun. I feel bad for all the village children who will never grow up. Because we are the lord of their fate. Their life cycle is... Uh, desperately hinged upon us managing a nocturnal existence. Almost have enough to do this evenly. And yes, as quick as that we can make a stack of bricks. How's that? With some more slate lime besides. Let's just keep that right there. In fact, let's spread the joy even further. Yes. And let's just keep these. Yeah, let's keep the 44 balls in case we need to make slime. Let's keep these lumps in case we need to make, I don't know, a faucet or something. No, they're also used in the creation of glue. Yeah, 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 that's right. Must remember the glue. Glue is important. In any case... Uh, well, I can't be working for the, uh... Yeah, my first quest is for the crafting station. Which, really, I technically don't even need. Unless it's part of an intermediary product. It is. It's used to make the armor, tool... It's used to make all the other parts. So, really... Yeah, the, the recipe is almost the same. You essentially need to build the recipe twice in order to get into Tinkers. It is a pretty huge, huge uh, initial investment. In any case, I need, yeah, 16 of these. To do that. And that. Then I am going to need to go and pick up more iron with, I believe, no, it was cobble, not that. With that, and then I believe it is just as simple as six more wood. Okay, that's one part of it done. We're also going to need some more of those patterns. Let's just get a bundle of everything. I don't have enough tool rods. Well, let's go get them. Let's see if I recall it's tier one. Oh, with the copper, right. So I need to go and s make some more coppery sticks. Yes, 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 yes. And I have just enough copper to do one more batch. 
neat. Lovely. Yep, at this point the grind is very real. Hmm. Well, it's looking like, well, it's raining now too. That puts my data off. But I wasn't ever seeing myself get overheated. Yes, it's raining again. Big surprise. Hmm. Maybe it's time... No. No, I want to wait until I have Tinker's Tools so that I can go and harvest the ships of their aesthetic blocks more easily. Yes. I suppose that while it's heating up, I could go and get some more iron though. Yes, let's turn our indicator on. Especially since we now have torches. That should make it easier to properly light up the entire ship. We might be able to completely safe this thing at last. Looks like we got lucky and nothing in here spawned. Oh, that's the problem. We didn't dig down entirely to this deck. There's our problem. Well, it's an easy problem to fix. Otherwise, we did have a couple of red spaces left. Yeah, here we go. You see that this has a wonderful bounty of blocks, along with some ores and such. I think these are emerald blocks. Oh, I should have brought, I should have brought the fancy pick. I should have brought the fancy pick. Oh well. Yeah, those are unfamiliar to me. Away with you. Because while an iron door might be useful, they're also plentiful. And in any case, redstone controllers are actually pretty hard to hard to produce. Yes, I believe that this is uh, aluminum brass. No, it's nickel. Still useful. I think that over there is platinum. This is copper. That's some more copper, gold, diamond. We have a bounty in the ship that should last us a little while. And now it should be relatively safe for us to come and pick it up whenever we have need. another pickaxe? No, I don't. Let's build another pickaxe before we start breaking these things. Because I am about to run out. Doop doop. Ship it up. Bit. Bling. Blung. Good. Yes, replenish the stocks.
and hopefully this should last us a good long time. Hopefully. We are starting to go through it faster. Can you imagine if we were still doing the bloomery for all this? Yeah. If I was doing some sort of challenge run where I wasn't allowing myself to pick up stuff from the ships or the villagers or, you know, doing an entirely craft-it-yourself run because I was insane and masochistic, then I would definitely not have as many workbenches, workstations as I have. And I would be cussing this section and I would I would be even more gleeful when the smeltery finally comes. And I'm already going to be pretty dang gleeful. Okay. My apologies, I kind of need to concentrate on this. It might not seem like it, but a single mistake is rather costly. And it's surprisingly hard to keep track sometimes. Especially when you are of a somewhat idiotic persuasion, as I may or may not be. This is the Carpenters. I do have the... Okay. Oh, because I don't have the Tier 1s on my hands. There. Are you happy now? You're happy now. Oh, that's why I ended up with the hammer in my hands. Like that last time I died and I was wondering where the hell it came from. It's cause sometimes when you recipe, when you shift click the recipe in, if the tools are not, n un are not necessary, they'll end up in your inventory. So watch out for that. Watch out. In any case, Yep, let's build both recipes. We're going to need tons of these. Let us not be shy. I guess I should have bought more leather. In any case... Yes, I was going to need some fencing. That's going to need... Three, six, eight glue, which I don't have quite that much, but that's an easy fix. Yes, glue. That's an unfortunate recipe right there. I hope it becomes easier later on. Okay, so those slabs are easy. And really, the fences are easy. Let's just... Boards, boards, boards. Or I should say slabs. One thing of sticks. I need to process some more logs. Get that going. Where did my jungle pods go? Maybe I lost them in one of those deaths.
unfortunate. In any case... Let us just go and bung that into the hopper. And make us some fence post. It should be fence post. Oh, it's in the carpenters. Should have figured. And I think that's all that needs. Yep. So, four slabs. Piece of iron, eight glue. There's the glue. Piece of iron. And I believe it was in the carpenters, wasn't it? Yes. And there we go, the crafting station. This is pretty well useless to us. It's just another crafting table, except if you uh, leave it alone, then it will retain its inventory. So it's mildly useful, more useful than a crafting table at best. At this point, that's pretty much useless to us. Especially with how ridiculously costly it is and how it's a pre-step towards all the other tiers. So, what do we want first? Well, we kind of need a stencil part builder and tool station in order to get started with Tinker's Tools. And you know what? It has been... It has been enough that I'm comfortable calling this an episode and my voice is giving out on me a little bit. So... Next time on Journey Beyond the Abyss, we will continue on with this ridiculous process. I'll see you then.